This is Mike with AskTractorMike.com. I'm starting to get approached by several companies that want me to promote their products, and unless it has a direct benefit to you, could save you some money or help you get stuff done quicker, uh, I turn them down. But today I have a product to show you, and it's a sponsored product that could save you a bunch of money on down the road and might even keep you from having to trade tractors to run an implement. And it's a it's something that if you don't know it's available, uh, you, you wouldn't know even how to look for it. And I'll show you how it works today. I've set up a situation behind me here with a tractor, a 70 horsepower tractor with a single remote hydraulic. And if you don't know what remote hydraulics are, there's a link in the description below. Watch that, uh, a video I did about the basics of remote hydraulics that'll show you how they work. So what I have is a tractor with two plug-ins, which is a single set of remote hydraulics. It's designed to move one cylinder in and out. I have here a disc mower, a pull type disc mower, that requires actually three plug-ins, or really two sets of hydraulics. It uses one hydraulic cylinder to extend the machine out and fold it back in, and another hydraulic cylinder to raise and lower it. And you actually only use the pressure to raise it, and then gravity lets it down. So you have three hoses to plug into two ports on the back of the tractor. Your other option, if it's available, is to add another set of remotes to the back of the tractor and that usually costs around a thousand dollars or more and it's it's a if the kit is available and if it's an older tractor and the kit's not available which happens often uh, then you have to order the individual pieces and parts from the manufacturer and it can be really really expensive so if you had this set up your only option would be to take the machine to the field fold it out unplug your remotes plug in the single remote to let it down to the ground, cut with it, and then when you're ready to leave the field, you'd raise the machine up, put the transport lock on, unplug the remote, plug in the other two remotes, fold it back in and go to another field. And if you're going a lot from field to field, you would hate it. It's a very, very cumbersome uh, project and it, it would get, you'd probably get oil on you and, it, and it'd just be a hassle that you wouldn't want to experience. If you didn't know this product was available, you might go looking for a different tractor. This product is called a hydraulic multiplier and it's designed to give you one more set of hydraulics than your tractor has. And if you want to order this exact same kit, I have a link down below that will allow you to order it from Amazon. That's where it's available. So what you would do is go to the field, uh, you would extend your machine, you would hit a button, and then you would let your machine down, and it would divert the oil from one remote set to another. And, and you'll, you'll get a grasp of what this means when you see me install it on the tractor. The first thing we're going to do before to put this block together is to lubricate these couplers. We don't want to use Teflon tape or anything on these, they're not designed for that. The next step in the process is to take these eccentric, and when I say eccentric, you see how that port goes around when you turn it? These eccentric fittings and put in the port. Then these fittings you put on here and you're going to leave that loose so you can get those right into your remotes. See how that's changing as you turn it? Now on most tractors we'd plug it in, tighten everything up and be done. This tractor has a problem. It's got a bracket in the way. And on certain tractors you have stuff in the way that keeps you from using these eccentric fittings. When that happens, you have to order this kit. And that gives you some right angle fittings that will allow you to, to get the block out of the way where it'll work on any tractor. And you notice we're putting the ones on that have the male and female, and then we'll attach the two males onto that. And then we're going to put these fittings on the end here. So when we're done, this is what it looks like. And that's going to get us, we're going to be able to move these so it gets us out of the way of anything that's on the tractor.
Now we're going to connect our wiring box to our block. One tremendous advantage of this product is that if you trade tractors you can take it with you. And this is going to electronically operate, change from this block, this set of remotes to this set of remote, or actually from this set to this set from the tractor seat. We're going to run this back through the tractor, kind of out of the way, and then zip tie it to some lines that don't move to get it hooked in right. And we'll mount, we'll mount this part to the tractor seat operator area. If I were hooking this up to stay, I'd hook it to a switched power source, like a, some kind of an accessory switch. Red to positive and black to a ground place on the tractor, but I'm just hooking this up to demonstrate, so I'm hooking it direct to the battery. Now that we got it put together, I'll show you how slick this works. With your toggle switch in the middle, nothing that happens. Toggle switch to one side, you raise and lower your machine. Toggle switch to the other side, you swing your machine in and out. So you're actually controlling two different hydraulic systems with one set of remotes at a lot less cost than adding a second set of remotes. I survive on web traffic. I'd be honored if you'd subscribe to my YouTube channel and share this video with other tractor enthusiasts. And if you got questions or comments, put them below. I'll try to answer them. Thanks for watching.